Okay, we got our old filter out. Took a little bit of convincing. Um, as you can see, it's been in there a while. Now, top line came off with no problem, but the bottom line had to mess with it a little bit. As you can see right there, it got a little rust in there. That's one of the reasons why you want to replace these. Because of where they sit, they're prone to rusting. Never use a screwdriver on either of these fittings. Never, never do that. Um, reason being is because they're plastic. They're probably pretty old depending on the year of your car. And if you break those uh, ends, you're replacing fuel lines. Best thing to do is just not do that. Now normally, if you've done fuel filters before, they usually have a flow with an arrow on it on the side of the filter. These, however, do not. They have an in. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is the outside. But common rule of thumb is when you're working on a vehicle that's got a hose clamp holding the, the filter together, you want to put the ring facing up. So when you put it in, it's going to go just like that. Your bottom line is going to hook up down there just fine. Top line is going to hook up just fine. You're going to be back on the road in no time. Other thing you need to know is, in order to get these lines off, you have to pull the clip all the way out. You can't cheat it and pull it halfway out. And I'm going to show you why. On the clip, it's got those teeth on the inside. Those teeth, along with what's on the end here, that's what holds the line to the filter. Because if you see how they had it when you buy it from the parts store, they have it set up just like that. That is how it holds the line to the vehicle. So it's imperative that you pull the clips out all the way. Now, I've seen some people try to cheat it, but it doesn't work like that. Other thing of note is when you put this together, put the bottom line on first. Okay. Now what you can do is you can put... The clip in the line before you put it back in push the clip all the way in and then take your fingers like this and push it together and you'll hear it snap that tells you that the lines on and you should be okay you can do that on the top as well there's some people that just want to just get it down inside the hose clamp because that's what it looks like when you pull it out there's your hose clamp down there and then your upper and lower lines what they'll do is they'll put it inside the hose clamp, tighten the hose clamp down and to hold it in place and then they'll take the lines and they'll push it down with one hand and with the other hand put the clip in and you can do that if you want to. It might take a little bit more uh, skill but you can definitely do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and that should be it for this series. So. Stay tuned and uh, here shortly we'll be doing the fuel filter on our 2001 Ford Ranger.